my dear Capricorn, this is a love reading, a prediction for the month of September with me, Kuna Kaps Tarot. And I hope you like the new Virgo statue in honor to celebrate Virgo's birthday. I also read in the order of birthdays. As an extended member to the channel, you will get these readings ahead of time and with no ads. And there's a four elements reading up, what the divine wants me to know, for the full members to this channel and a classic love and spirituality reading is up for all the members to the channel. Subscribe and then check out the mini perks through the join button that will appear or follow the link in the description box to learn more about membership. And I can recommend that you rewatch the previous love reading for August to get a context and this is the prediction for September. I will start uh, shuffling your cards and I use the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot. When I open your deck here, I see nine of pentacles and four of wands. So this actually paints a really lovely picture. It shows you being able to thrive uh, on your own, uh, relying on your own powers, on your self-sufficiency. Uh, but you're also giving in more and more harmony and beauty into your relationships and the cooperation with others. Okay, I call the divine with love and light. And here we have the knight of wands together with the four of wands. So the knight of wands uh, comes with some kind of changes. It's more to learn, more to explore, more to... Um, more to kind of experience it feels a little bit threatening but changes usually do i call the four archangels in the four corners of the world and here we have the king of cups together with the four of wands uh, so I still feel like you can't rely 100% on the people around you with the knight of wands uh, that we saw it's a little bit of reckless energy uh, but you yourself are holding yourself to really high standards uh, and you're not letting other people's behaviors uh, touch you personally which makes you a very warm and generous person here with this king of cups okay I call the six elements and here we have a page of cups together with the king of cups. So I definitely feel like you're teaching people around you uh, about love, uh, about what's fair, about uh, humbleness, about um, showing vulnerability, um, being steady in a storm. And uh, you just show a lot of capacity is what I'm feeling. But I also get that there's more to this page of cups. Uh, so I will see if I can get some type of clarification. Coffin. Ending brings new beginnings. Growth, change, liberation, transition. So I, I felt the little ominous feeling with the Knight of Wands that we saw. Uh, so it might be that a person will in some way uh, betray you. It doesn't have to be like a big backstabbing betrayal. It might just be that they promise to do one thing, but instead they end up doing uh, another thing. Uh, but I'm seeing you being able to be, uh, be gracious about it and uh, still you not have this warmth and beauty in your own life uh, and not be so touched with what you might be forced to do or, you know, let happen. Okay, so we'll save this card and see a little bit more what this is about. Um, this page of cups it's like um, allowing people to uh, to to um, do their own thing make their own choices even if that means that we need to let them go so if someone comes and say hey I got a job in Atlanta uh, I'll be moving in a few weeks uh, uh, it will be you know such a long distance uh, that I don't feel we should keep up the relationship um, you should you can say okay that's a real shock uh, and I, I wish that you would have spoken to me earlier because then I would have been more in the loop and also been able to make future plans uh, for myself to uh, not feel so stranded with your our change of plans uh, but I understand this is a big ch chance for you in Atlanta and um, of course if you feel like 
there's a trouble to keep the relationship intact by all means i know this feels now i'm talking again <laughs> so this is of course a very detached behavior but it's kind of what i saw you being the bigger person not making other people's decisions becoming a disaster for you because you're so self-sufficient which also makes you being a more loving and generous person and and probably ending up more happy uh, than the person that just still looking for themselves with the knight of wands and the page of cups uh, so um, you have reached certain heights in your personal growth uh, that you should be so grateful for and if you still have a little bit left to go uh, use this reading as a uh, help uh, and kind of fake it till you make it even if you want to claw the person's eyes out when they say they want to move to Atlanta, you can say, I will really miss you. And it's a big shock to me because I thought we really had something going. But if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. I'm not going to stop you. And then afterwards, you know, you can break apart and hate them and <laughs> all this. But quickly, eventually, like... Go back to the point where you take good care of yourself. No matter if people are there for you or not, you take care of you. Because this built the King of Cups persona, uh, the person that can be warm and generous towards others. Because you're warm and generous towards yourself. You have your own back. Uh, you're not letting yourself be betrayed because you are not betraying you. Okay. So I'm just going to tune in here for a few seconds to you, the person most on your mind and your relationship in September. So, uh, this is the <laughs> new bottom of the deck, it's the four of wands that we saw. You are building your own paradise and you know there's open gates here this is like a house but it's an imaginary house but it's the house you have built it's the foundation you have built people are welcome here but they are not uh, prisoners so they are allowed to leave whenever they want you're not trying to control them or make them act as you want them to but also if they don't act properly in your house they might be uninvited uh, but this air here, it's uh, freshness, it's uh, liberty, it's allowance, it's um, like allowing other people to be in a certain, in their own fashion or their own way, and you allowing you to be yourself. So it's very beautiful, it's a lot of self-love, it just reeks of self-love, uh, and it uh, promise you that you will find people of like mind to share this with, because you're rising your vibration and you will be only a vibrational match with people out with as high frequency you just need to go through these uh, things with the uh, stuff that you might not have been able to do before for example letting someone go uh, so all bottom of the deck is the seven of cups where you were kind of kidnapped by your own emotions uh, unable to let people go okay So I forgot to light, light your candles. This is what, what's on your mind with the person most on your mind. And this is the situation with said person. This is what's on their mind with you. Your feelings. The bond between you two. Their feelings. Your behaviors and attitudes. The outcome for September. And their behaviors and attitudes. So start with the situation here and we have this um, beautiful uh, empress so i'm definitely feeling you have created this nine of cups garden for yourself a paradise for yourself and people will be drawn to this they will feel like this is something that they want to take part of uh, you're still hurt from your earlier experiences and uh, you would want to tear down heaven and earth if the person wants to move to Atlanta. <laughs> but uh, hopefully you will follow my advice. Uh, six of wands. Uh, I'm feeling the knight of wands kind of energy here. That this person is a little bit preoccupied with um, their own life. They haven't really been able to find themselves just yet. And they're still out there looking. Maybe what they're looking for is really in the end, it, it's you and they don't know what they have and they will, you know, uh, too late, <laughs> maybe wake up to uh, the value of your relationship. But 
it can't be helped um, we aren't here to act perfectly we are here to make mistakes and learn from them so that we can genuinely grow not just following you know orders from a book or from the ten commandments and and living by those but actually uh, you yourself having the experience the wisdom uh, and the understanding to know uh, what's best and for <laughs> to be able to do that we need to have the experience so people need to be allowed uh, to make their own mistakes and doesn't it's not eh, it's not really mistakes we always learn from them and it's what we learn by doing the mistakes that eventually will take us home it will eventually make us uh, be able to succeed and um, make ourselves happy but we need to be allowed to explore and and find ourselves so here we have uh, the page of cups being the bond between you two nine of cups there and magician so i'm feeling this person is a little bit like they're doing their own gig here very knight of wands energy as i told you uh, but they still they still kind of want to invite you on a corner question is if that will be enough for you nine of cups nine of wands you're a little bit in this you also had the nine of coins this hermit energy where you're learning to stand on your own two feet not needing anyone else and sometimes hell is other people and sometimes they don't fulfill your needs or live up to your expectations the important thing is that you do that you are doing this you live up to your expectations because if you have your own back if you take care of yourself there's nothing to fear here okay uh, this is your behaviors and attitudes three of coins uh, conversing in an adult way saying yes of course if you want to leave you want to leave and here we see the devil this was uh, uh, kind of the undercurrent of this reading that the person wants you to cry and be dramatic and uh, you know hate that they are going to to atlanta <laughs> they they want to see a reaction they want to pull your heartstrings and and see if they matter to you you probably have a little bit of a low self-esteem uh, so they need to get uh, reassurance from others so uh, hurting you with telling you their decisions that's not the you know the best decisions or decisions they want to make but the decisions that they tell you that they have made to to also get a little bit reaction from you it's um, like they're getting high on maybe seeing your tears or seeing your drama or maybe you have worked very hard on building this foundation for yourself and you have distant yourself from them a little bit and they want to see if you still care so this is the modern witch tarot and i'm clarifying the empress here empress the devil hmm. it has to do with what we are offering and um almost making people attached to us like they need us they can't go on their own because we have made them uh, almost addicted to us and i think that's your little bit go-to move uh, you do everything for a person so that they will not be able to live without you and this person feels it uh, so they are kind of punishing you with uh, pulling your heartstrings saying that they surely could do without you and this is how this is the tug of war how you are um, kind of hurting each other with your with your each of your wounds uh, you want people to stay love you not abandon you um, and uh, then you make yourself so important so skilled so um, offering everything that they need like Gaia's garden like paradise here so if they go outside from paradise they will be so sorry uh, and this person they don't want to be controlled they don't they get a crappy self-esteem from you being so equipped and so um, you know you get um, you're always so successful always know what to do and they also want to learn how to do things and they want to learn from their own mistakes that's the only way or from their own not only mistakes but they're from their own successes that's the only way that they will find a self-esteem that's theirs and not yours in other case they will always live with a shadow that uh, they are just doing what you said is best and that's why their life is working and they will always feel like they are on shaky grounds because if you if they are without you they wouldn't survive 
Um, so there's a reason to them moving to Atlanta and finding themselves. Okay, clarify the nine of wands, uh, king of cups. Um, you are in the process of learning to become uh, the king of cups, a, a generous uh, center point of the family, a person that cares for others deeply, loves them unconditionally. But first you need to love yourself unconditionally and all the protection that you can offer others, you need to offer it to yourself. Uh, this is to build this kind of uh, beautiful energy in your own life. Clarify the six of wands, uh, the magician, <laughs> we also have the magician here. Uh, it's a little bit manipulation, but it's also, they want to become their own person. They want to be able to make it for themselves. Uh, they don't want to, um, you know, their parents or uh, you or that teacher or, or their boss or anyone else to be able to take credit for their achievements. They want to know that they are good, that they are skilled. Okay, clarify the page of cups, <laughs> knight of cups. It's still love here. It's just that both of you are trying to compensate for some old wound in the past. Things where, where you still need to develop. Let's say that you need other people to love you. So you need to learn to love yourself. Uh, this person um, wants to kind of make it for themselves. So they can get a self-esteem of their own and be less dependent like right now they might be a, like a little bit of a, a immature person that um, makes the wrong decisions and uh, do things that's not good for anyone but if they can go their own way and find themselves uh, they will come back a more competent person certify the nine of cups uh, page of pentacles it's almost like you say, ah, this is all that I have and you can have it, but then you need to stay with me or you need to be here. Clarify the six of wands, temperance card. They need to find themselves, even if it's hurtful and feels like a betrayal. I'm not saying that they are going to Atlanta, but it might be that they have their own idea of what kind of living arrangement they want or if they want to work in this work or that work or they want to spend Friday afternoons with you or, you know, they're... they're uh, this other person okay or work so we can always uh, you know say to people what we want uh, but if they say no uh, we can't force them we can ask again for what we want but we can't still force them or say hey then you will live without what I'm offering because you are doing like that we always have also the the choice to end the relationship of course if we don't like what's being offered you know buy it from another market if uh, there's only bad fruits here that uh, you know you can't eat <laughs> you're not getting your needs met uh, then stop buying from that market simple as that don't go and say like try to change the whole market if they refuse to come with fresh food uh, fresh fruit don't buy from that market go to another one search for another one Clarify the three of coins and we're seeing the queen of cups. So it shows that um, you feel for this person and you want this relationship. It's so You're so invested that this relationship should end good. So you're prepared to uh, negotiate and try and work. So that's a good thing. It shows resilience. It shows love. And you both had a king and queen of cups. So I bet you're longing for uh, a future with this person. But first you need to... Uh, build a future for yourself you need to make yourself count and emotionally stabilize yourself you have both the king and the queen and the child so you have all the archetypes that's necessary um, I think this person might just have the child and they need to install their own parents so that's what they're looking for they're looking for their own authority with um, uh, the warrior and and their own self-knowledge with the, the witch uh, the witch interprets uh, what uh, other people around them wants or what the universe wants. It's like a mother interpret if the baby is hungry or need new diapers. Uh, and they don't know what they want because they don't have installed the witch. Uh, and they don't have any authority or wisdom because they haven't installed the father. So they need to go and look for these. But you have all these archetypes. Uh, ready to come together and, and build a stable foundation for your persona. Clarifying the devil. 
knight of wands again uh, the card that i got from the beginning and that felt a little bit ominous um, so they are both doing what they're doing uh, to pull your heartstrings to see that you care uh, but they're also doing out of necessity to to grow the knight of wands goes out in the world backpacking um, learning about different cultures and by mirroring themselves out in the world they they see what oh that's how i want to be or this is what feels right for me uh, so they don't stay with the familiar and just accept what their uh, society is telling them they go out and see if there's anything more uh, and that way they can learn get to know themselves more on in depth instead of just settling for what other people tell them that they are this is the outcome and we see a six of coins so it feels like there can be some kind of good cooperation here <laughs> empress again so empress the world um, it pretty much looks as if um, um, you are still this safe harbor, uh, being able to, you know, this the world card is like, let them go. If they come back, um, then they come back. If they don't come back, uh, you might as well have let them go <laughs> because it wasn't worth trying to keep them. So I'm seeing you being very gracious, very unconditionally loving. Uh, in the same time, you're aware of what you want with this situation and that you might be a little bit over giving to it but you're also open for uh, a future uh, with this person i'm not entirely sure that it's a good thing i don't wait for them many options i um, string along one night stand because um, as they are finding themselves they you can't trust uh, that they will end up with you um, I definitely feel like if this person is um, needing to take their business elsewhere, you shouldn't just wait for them. Then it's you becoming addicted. You try to make them addicted to you, um, devil, empress. But the reality is that you are a little bit addicted to them. And you need to figure out why. Um, why what is it with this person that can't offer wisdom that can't offer loyalty or stay with you uh, what is it that's so appealing I want to marry you i needed to learn from my own mistake you want to marry them and they need to learn from their own mistakes it might be something that you're mirroring yourself into with this person that you need to develop within yourself maybe more adventure not settle for what you know maybe widen your perspective uh, a little bit and um, some maybe less loyalty in love if uh, your loving companion isn't loyal towards you uh, maybe you need to learn to also take things more casually it's just to balance things up it's not because the casual love is better uh, so that we can you know protect ourselves from getting heartbroken it's more about if you are super 100% very loyal and you are that because you are fear you fear being abandoned there's going to be an imbalance and someone is going to come and abandon you and not be loyal so it's first when you have healed yourself and you're 100% loyal towards yourself you will experience people being 100% loyal towards you and the healing process goes through balancing your different black and white uh, personality traits I love you more than words can say <laughs> yes sometimes we have this uh, difficult situations where we love a person because we remember all the lives we have lived with them and they don't remember squat uh, okay I can't handle one more heartbreak we are a bad match I feel like they they don't feel sufficient enough for you they think that you are out of their league and um, to living up to your standards makes them nervous it makes them anxious they want to probably find a life where people around and don't have the same standards they want to live an easier life with res less responsibility people asking less of them uh, so it get it makes them nervous this uh, you know being able to reach the stars <laughs> they are more you know okay with reaching the treetops and um, that's where they are all right now. I would so much want to know why you are so hung up on this person. 
walking through the dark night of my soul this is good news actually in this context finding your both your inner father mother child um, this is a part of your awakening process uh, to see this pattern why you are choosing people in your life that's um, not really contributing with anything real or substantial it's you that contributing with the real and substantial uh, why are you choosing to be why are you attracted towards people that have very little substance um, this is for you to figure out because the divine doesn't want to clarify this for me uh, but they say that this is a part of your great awakening this might be the key to uh, your personality and your the drama that plays out in your life and the cycle uh, where you drive into the pothole you know again and again uh, I guess you choose these people because they make you shine <laughs> they make you look good uh, and competent because they are a little bit they haven't found themselves they have no stability uh, so that makes you look like a catch uh, maybe you are afraid that you uh, if you would meet someone of your standards, this would put all this anxiety that they feel onto you, that you need to live up to really high standards that will make you stressed out or nervous. Uh, no place like home. Okay, we'll read this for you. 50. One, 50. Uh, lovers, friends and companion animals are at home in your life right now. You are in sync and full of love and you can be secure in the knowledge that this is reciprocated. Relationships elicit a sense of emotional safety, comfort and the best aspect of familiarity. Be home in this relationship. Together you add to the love of the world. That is what you are searching for and wanting. I want to marry you. All this, what you are giving to this person that, you know, have one foot or maybe two foots out of this relationship. And still you want to marry them because you want to achieve this um, deep connectedness. But your choices is um, odd. <laughs> there are times when what is familiar and known is not the best choice. Human beings are memory-driven creatures and we all look for certainty for what we know and even the qualities we seek in other people and in external conditions are expressed in unhealthy ways. It's still familiar. Avoid being too eager to find home. Choose something unfamiliar and trust that you will find a new normal that supports your spirit. So um, try breaking this. Uh, it's like a glass uh, cage and you can't see the walls, but uh, you are definitely living with these walls. Uh, shoes, partner, job, something that's totally out of your comfort zone. Uh, and see your comfort zone expanding. You might not, even if you choose a partner that's uh, not what you have gone for in the past, you might not end up with that person, but you're definitely going to ex expand your uh, the aquarium that you're living in. It's aquarium with air, not water, as I see it in my inner vision. If you do what you did, you get what you got. Do the opposite of what feels right, even if it's uncomfortable, because what feels right is really what feels familiar. Uh, this person from a past life that has abandoned you 10,000 times, trying to find themselves forever. Um, and you will attract and be drawn to the very things you don't want anymore. This time uh, will not be different unless you do something different. Okay. So it's a tough lesson, but you are really getting through um, this um, dark night of the soul. You have found so many competent, uh, like competent, uh, foundation stones uh, for yourself. Uh, and uh, you have built a more and more com complex but um, stable uh, self. Uh, where your soul is invited, your subconscious in, is invited, your logic awareness is invited. We have just one little glitch and it's the loyalty that you have uh, to the perpetrators um, of the past. You know, people that you have loved and that have failed you over and over and over and over again. They are still in the same, like, and even they are locked into the same uh, dramatic uh, theater role 
uh, because you are locked in your role. If you finally say, okay, um, uh, I don't need you anymore, go whatever you want. And next time you choose like a loyal partner, a loyal friend, and, uh, <laughs> and even if that feels unfamiliar and scary and you can't sleep all through the night lying next to this person, <laughs> try to stay with it for a little while as an experiment and see if that can unlock this old karma and set you free uh, from experiencing the familiar disappointment over and over again. Because you're almost out through the tunnel of the dark night of the soul, which has given you so many comp competent, uh, as this word again, it's components, okay? They've given you so many components uh, that have made you a, a more, um, like more yourself. It's so, like, as I said, your soul, um, your different personas, the father, the mother, the child, everything starts to come together. It's just that if you're still going to repeat your same, same choices, it's going to elevate you, yes, but it's not going to set you free. And you need your freedom, okay, from this old pattern, from this loyalty of love uh, to the wrong person or to the wrong people that doesn't deserve it. So I would urge you to watch the reading, what do they want to happen between you uh, and the love reading for August to learn more about this situation or relationship and if you want to see new and exclusive reading from me and watch the channel normal reading in advance and ads free you can become an extended member to the channel i'm also doing spiritual growth readings for all the members to the channel every week and personal questions readings for elements readings and all science readings for the full members subscribe and then check out the different levels through the join button that will appear or follow the link in the description box to learn more about membership Thank you for watching. Remember to like, share and subscribe and hit the notification bell to get a heads up when the new video is out. Take really good care. Until next time, stay awake, stay healthy, stay blessed and bye for now.